Good day. My name is Stephen David. I am the CEO of a training company, a professional journalist, and a systems designer. In this video, I will show how to use the strip modifier in Blender Video Editor. The purpose of a strip modifier is, as the name indicates, to modify a strip. It changes the way how a strip displays in terms of the colors, what parts of a strip can display, etc. You find the strip modifier by selecting the strip and then go to the property window of that specific strip and then you slide down and here at the close at the, the very bottom you will find uh, the heading modifiers uh, then you can add a modifier and the type of modifier there are various modifiers F at this moment in time for an example we will just click white balance I will explain later on what it is and how to navigate it and then we select uh, another modifier you can add other modifiers additional modifiers let us select bright contrast for the purpose of this video then we do have at this moment in time two modifiers to navigate uh, these modifiers are very simple and very easy here at this uh, down arrow if you click you can you see there uh, then the menu and uh, is display the amount of information is reduced by clicking this arrow in terms of that modifier you can click the eye by to disable uh, the modifier so that it does have no effect and in fact then the second or other modifiers have an effect and then you can test for example how does my picture or uh, video looks without uh, this specific modifier so you click on the eye to engage it and to make it visible these uh, if you have more than one modifiers as is the case now then you can move it up or down the track let us move it down now white is a down under you can see there as you can see there if we uh, reduce the information attached to both white let's move up white up the white is now down it moves move white up there is white up so you can move your modifiers up and down if you made a mistake and you do not need a modifier anymore you simply delete a modifier by clicking it in the delete button the modifier you use depends on the outcome you want to achieve or the problem you want to address let us look at the modifier brightness and contrast Brightness and contrast, let us first start with brightness. Brightness you use for the whole picture and when the whole picture appears to be a little bit too dark or too bright. Let us put this on uh, 20 and see what uh, the effect is. You see that it's brighter. If we use it the whole picture here yeah, at minus 20, you will see it's darker. This you brightness you use when there's an abnormal black in or lightness in the whole picture. For example, during the day, uh, the uh, blue of the sky look too dark, uh, or at night, the middle of the night, uh, the dark night scenes look too light when contrasted perhaps with scenes that's taken in the light if we put this to back to 
zero we'll see the effect brightness increase 20 and we can even see if the whole picture becomes too bright it uh, is not uh, really distinguishable if it becomes well, let's put minus 40 and you will the whole picture is too dark so brightness you use to change the whole picture let us look at contrast contrast is about the relationship of pictures or objects in relationship to one another within the whole screen contrast for example you look at night scenes where scenes of darkness does are too light when compared with scenes that are filmed in the light or during the daytime the shades do not compare very well with areas outside of the shade contrast is about the relationship of objects within the one screen and how they compare and look towards the other let us look for example at this contrast that we will put here from 0 to 20 and what the impact is you can see at the background the lights got lighter while these uh, remains a little bit more prominent let us increase it to for example 40 and there you can see that the background becomes far very very light and the objects stand out uh, individually much more for example let us use uh, again uh, and to make it 60 contrast and now you can see the objects some objects are clearly standing out disproportionately of course in this case but we use this an example as an example and let us see what happens if we put that in at 80 and there you can see it's far disproportionate but the object is to show you that contrast is about the relationships and how pictures and objects appear within the one picture in relation to others if we for example put contrast here at minus 20 let us see what happens it becomes uh, very bright and uh, minus uh, 40 the contrast between the pictures uh, are reduced if we put it at zero as it was uh, so that the contrast are relative and if we make it now for example 20 you can see that the one object e, uh, the objects appear in relation to others much more prominent you use white balance when the whole picture and the color is distorted but the clue you get to use white balance is when a, an object that is obviously white is not white but maybe bluish or in this case this color because of overexposure underexposure or whatever reason maybe someone's tie someone's uh, white dress a piece of white paper appear in the scene bluish and it affects of course everything there the whole picture is distorted but you get your clue from a white object that is not white what you then do is you select a white balance and then I already selected it and then you offset and uh, try to maneuver the uh, color until it is comes right the white becomes all right in this case I uh, distorted it to uh, uh, for the sake of the example 
there you can see. Of course, the whole color of the picture is affected, and not only the white parts. But you get your clue on when to use white balance, if and when objects that are obviously white is not.